It's fair to say that Australia might not be synonymous with winter sports, but Aussies have punched well above their weight at Winter Olympics, bringing home 15 medals, five of them gold, including three in each of the last three games. Australia has named a 44-strong team of athletes for Beijing, all of whom will be giving everything to add their name to that honor roll. There are, though, a select handful of athletes who have been in excellent form across the World Cup circuit this season. Here are the Australians with a chance of medaling at Beijing 2022. Jakar Anthony has had a supreme season in 2021 over 22. Anthony sits in third spot on the moguls list this World Cup season, having recorded six podiums, including a first place finish on Alp de Hughes before Christmas. In truth, though, she has been growing in stature and belief since finishing in fourth at the last games in Pyeongchang. Anthony has stood on the World Cup podium 17 times since South Korea, with the Cairnsborn, Melbourne-based star saving her most consistently brilliant season for the build-up to Beijing, where it could be a toss-up as to which of the best contenders can win out. Major rivals, this year's Moguls World Cup has been a battle between the three top skiers in the world. Japan's Henry Kalamura leads the overall standings and will be tough to beat. So, too, is France's reigning Olympic champion, Perrin Lafont, who is second in the rankings. Anthony's Australian teammates, Sophie Ash, Taylor O'Neill and Britt Cox, will also be competing at the Games. Matt Graham is already on the Australian Olympic honor roll as a silver medalist from Pyeongchang. The two-time Olympian claimed the Crystal Globe in 2020 over 21 as the overall World Cup winner and was building nicely to challenge Canada's mogul's goat, Mikhail Kingsbury, for gold in Beijing. But the 27-year-old broke his collarbone in December at Eider F. Jaw, an injury that required surgery and a significant period off the snow. Despite that break, Graham has recovered, jumping into water in Brisbane to keep himself sharp before heading back to the snow to nail down his final preparations for a repeat podium in Beijing. Major rivals, Kingsbury is near unstoppable and moguls racing and has been for close to a decade. The only time he failed to win the overall title was when he missed a handful of races after fracturing his T4 and T5 vertebrae. He still won the world championships that year, though just three months after the injury. Japan's Akuma Horishima has been pushing him all the way this year, taking wins in Deer Valley, out to Hughes and Ider F. Jaw, so will remain a threat. Fellow Aussies James Matheson, Brody Summers and Cooper Woods, who reached his first super final at Deer Valley in January, finishing fifth, are also competing. Bree Walker is a sliding superstar. The former hurdler finished second in the end-of-year World Series rankings in 2020, 2021 and has consistently finished near the top of the standings in this Olympic season. After securing a podium position five times in seven World Series events, including winning on the fearsome Winterberg track in December, Walker is primed to challenge for gold as Monobob makes its Olympics debut at the Yanking Sliding Center. Major rivals, one thing about the Monobob field, it is very, very tight at the top. Veteran, multi-talented American Alana Mayers Taylor leads the overall standings, having won four sanctioned events this season. Just behind her is fellow countrywoman Kylie Humphreys and Canadian star Cynthia Paya and Christine De Bruyne. In addition, it wouldn't be bobsleigh unless there are some German contenders, so watch out for Laura Nolt and Mariama Jamaica. Jacqueline Nerica has the Olympics coursing through her veins. Her uncle, Paul Narricott, was the first Australian to compete at both the Summer and Winter Games as a 100- and 200-meter runner in land 1984 and in the two-man bobsleigh at Albertville in 1992. The 31-year-old competed at Pyeongchang, finishing 16th, but will head to Beijing with high hopes after becoming the first Australian skeleton racer to win a World Cup race in St. Moritz in mid-January. Major rivals, Dutch slider Kimberly Boss has been bossing the overall World Cup standings this year although Austria's Janine Flock has been the model of consistency across the competition. In November at the Olympic test event in Yanking, German Tina Hermann beat out countrywoman Hannah Nyes and Russia's Alina Nikitina.